Hello and welcome aboard. Today we are painting feathers. All of the paints that I'm using are pre-mix colours I just had laying about. So I'm just going to quickly show you the colours before we start. The surface that I'm painting on looks like an absolute mess because I just finished doing another painting and then decided to bring you along while I tried doing a feather. I guess I should have cleaned up first, but it just didn't occur to me. Why yes, yes, I did just use my spatula on a white and green painting. Why do you ask? And sometimes I do actually remember to paint the sides of the board before I start. And of course we must remove all bubbles. Now, you may be wondering why I poured the green on, but then used a popsicle stick for the blue. My original intention had been to make green the predominant colour and just little pops of the other colours, but that's not what I ended up doing. had all of my pieces of card cut out ready to go, but then I couldn't work out what size or how many points on the cards I wanted to use. There was definitely some experimenting involved. And I kept forgetting to wipe the card after every swipe, which is why I'm ending up with some really weird swipes. And you can definitely see where the paint is a little bit thicker than everywhere else. One cool thing about fluid painting is when you do something that you think looks absolutely horrible, it's easy to cover and do it in. And I'm not going to make you watch every sway. Well, at least not at normal speed. Fixing my little mistake once again. Every feather has those little fluffy bits at the bottom, which is what I'm trying to achieve here.
You can't see it past my hand, but I'm making the end of the feather look more like a feather shaft rather than just a blob of paint. I only had a really long piece of chain and the issues with long pieces of chain is it's extremely difficult control on a picture this small. Just like that. Sorry about the hand, I was pretty much just focused on that chain. Like I said, fluid paint is so easy to correct your mistakes. And the final results nicely framed. I had so much fun I decided to do another one. I didn't film it but here's what it looks like. Thank you for joining me on today's ride. If you enjoyed today's video as a regular YouTuber I'm sure you know exactly what to do but just in case click the like, subscribe and bell. Go on I know you want to.